Over the years, many small-scale potato farmers have had to grapple with low yields and losses due to bacteria built infections that have seen farmers spend a fortune in purchasing expensive antifungal chemicals to fight the disease. The Kenya Agricultural Livestock and Research Organization partnered with Korea Project on International Agriculture to develop bacteria built free seed. Calro says besides saving farmers money by reducing use of pesticides, the new seed will help farmers produce clean and quality potatoes. We should plant potatoes, shangi potatoes. Yeah, we started with half an acre, now we are able to plant one acre. And we are still to do more. Calro has embarked on an extensive training program in potato growing areas to sensitize farmers on the importance of using the new seed and the best potato farming practices to ensure farmers increase their yields. Right now we are headed for um, self-sufficient. We started off with only half an acre of planting. Now we are able to sufficiently sub, uh, plant one and a half acres of potato, uh, supplying clean seed to the neighbors and of course making a bit of money for our, for our, for our interest. Scientists however say more research should be done on potatoes to improve its quality and boost the country food security as potatoes the third most consumed food in the country after maize and rice. Kenyan soil is not from fertile but we do Everything we do about that uh, better growing of a potato, like uh, fertilizing and uh, some of that uh, water irrigation about something, and the good storage of potato that will give a, that give a must must production that increase that uh, farmers income. The researchers urged relevant stakeholders to provide potato farmers with good storage equipment and help them access ready markets for their produce to minimize post-harvest losses as well as increase farmers' earnings.